In the previous videos, we have discussed about checking the shear capacity of the concrete against the shear load VED or VCR in order to determine whether we are to provide the nominal shearing or the normal shearing. In these videos, we are going to discuss about provisions of the shearings. You know that the nominal shearing is provided when the shear capacity is greater than X load. Theoretically, the concrete possesses adequate capacity to resist the shear load. However, as a safety measure, nominal shearing is provided. This equation is used to determine the nominal shearing for the pre-stressed concrete section. It is normally termed as the ratio of ASW per S, which is the area of the shearing divided by its spacing. The ratio of ASW per S here needs to be greater than this time BW. FCK represent the concrete strength and FYK represent the specified U strength of the shear reinforcement. The BW represent the width of the web. This table shows the areas of the shear links as defined by its bar size and also its spacing. The area here is presented in the unit of mm square. Next, we look into the provisions of the normal shelling. It is normally required when the concrete do not have sufficient capacity to resist the shear load. In order to calculate the normal shear reinforcement, first we will need to determine the angle of shear. We need to go back and use the shear resistance maximum of the section, which is VRD max. Assume now the shear force is equal to VRD max. Based on the norm value of this, we determine the angle theta. The angle theta should fall in between 22 degree to 45 degree. If you find the angle theta is less than 22 degree, you will use the theta equals to 22 degree. In the case that the angle is 45 degree, that means the sections cannot generate adequate shear capacity. With that, you will need to redesign the section. What you see in the calculation step here, it is actually a repetition of this process. This process is meant to check whether the section needs to be redesigned. In fact, if you skip this step, you can still determine whether the section needs to be redesigned. It is when you found the theta is more than 45 degree. Now it is up to you whether you want to check this first or to check this later. The disadvantage of having this to be checked at the final step of the shear reinforcement design is that you have gone through all these calculation steps before you know that the sections needs to be redesigned. If it is unfortunate that you realize that the section is too small, and a bigger section needs to be proposed, you will have to redo this part. As within this equation here, there are section properties embedded in the equation. For example, the width of the web and also the cross-sectional area of the section. Same goes to this and this. Changing the section size may also change the amount of the steel reinforcement in the section. As it is also defined by the geometrical property of the section. To be safe, you are still recommended to do the checking for VRD maximum first. Especially when you are 
Noxure whether the provider area of the sections is adequate. Now let us come back to the design for the normal shear reinforcement. Now that we have determined the angle, which is supposedly to be within the range of 22 degree to 45 degree, use the angle of 10 to calculate the shear resistance of the concrete with shear reinforcement. This is where you're going to use the data. The shear resistance should be the smaller of VRDS and also VRD maximum. Since that at this stage, when the angle is less and equals to 45 degree, we know that VRD maximum is adequate. Therefore, ultimately, we are supposed to check with this equation. Taking this as VED, Substitute all the relevant numbers into the equation. We can determine ASW per S. This represents the amount of shear reinforcement bar. Based on the ASW S that you have obtained from this equation, refer back with the tables of area of shearing. Propose adequate shelling with total area greater than the one of 10 here. As long as the provided shelling is greater than what you have calculated here, the section is considered pass. The FYWD represents the design use strength of the shear reinforcement. The Z here represents the lever arm of the stress diagram. After you have proposed the bar size and the spacing of the shelling, you need to make sure that the spacing is less than 0.75D. The D is the effective depth of the reinforcement.